Behind me is Oil Creek here in Pennsylvania. Now the Native Americans, the Seneca Indians, knew that there was oil in this creek. They called it OYL, but it wasn't until Edwin Drake in 1859 discovered and created the first commercially viable oil well, and that led to Oil City here where I'm standing in 1865. Basically, it was the boom town of the East. Standard Oil, Pennzoil, Atlantic, they all came here to seek their fortune. Drake, however, died penniless. But tomorrow is the day that we celebrate Edwin Drake's invention in Titusville, just 19 miles up the road here. There's going to be flags, celebrations, and most important, storytelling of the great era of oil. It's really hard to believe before automobiles that it had a, had a purpose, but it was a medicinal uh, product. And it was, it was, you know, just prior to Colonel Drake's discovery, that a gentleman by the name of Keir was here drilling salt mines, salt wells. And coming out of the salt wells was this byproduct that he had no idea what to do with. And it just happened to be that his wife was receiving uh, a treatment from a doctor and um, the medicine that was prescribed looked and smelled exactly like this byproduct that was coming out of the ground. And he had it tested, and sure enough, it was, you know, it was oil. Tomorrow in Titusville, we'll have a look at what it was like to drill for oil 150 years ago. That includes a nitroglycerin well fracturing demonstration. Should be an exciting event, and we'll have a full report.